Hey everyone, this is Joe with G with Touch of the Brush Model Weathering. And welcome to layout update number one, the introduction to the Bell Community Branch layout in HO scale. The community branch is a fictional name that's based off the actual real settlement called Bell, and we decide the name of this as a family in the Bell community here in Evansville, Arkansas to be the town back here called Bell, and basically it's a fictional branch line railroad, or branch line that comes off the main line, and we have a couple of locomotives that switch to industries in the town of Bell, and it will have to make up the trains and bring it back to the locomotives or the locomotives on the class one will have to pick up the train and bring it back on the main line towards its final destination. The layout is an 8x8x8 U-shaped layout. Switching pop operations basically is just point to point and as far as railroads concerned any railroad uh, I want to finish I want to show off my collection as well as show off the rolling stock that I have and the work that I do with Touch of the Brush model weathering. And with that, I'll be displaying a lot of my collection and the weathering and painting that I do along with my clients' models. And so that will be fun for videography and photography for my clients and for the business. And so with this, I would like to show you a tour of the layout. We will start with the Bell Community Branch Tour right at this location. In this section we have the branch line and we'll go under a, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, and probably either an abandoned rail line or maybe that will be the actual main line that goes across and maybe we'll do that. But this right here is the start of the construction to have the main line go across and underneath to the right will be a cassette. That will go right this way, a fourth foot section that I can have while I'm doing my operating sessions. It will probably have three tracks to block cars and to take a train out on the branch that came off the main line onto the layout to be switched. And then we're going to go over this way here. We got an abandoned track that's still being. I just thought about this a few minutes ago, and so there's an old track that I had and I bent it, and it's going to be an abandoned track next to the branch line. And we're going to go around this way, We, just for decorative purposes, the uh, tracks are, I would say, 70% laid down. I am still working on the feeders on some parts and the crossovers. Um, but here, we have some decorative pieces that represent where things are going to look like. We do have a Bell Community Branch Line train that has local power that's going to be switching the industries. And it has, a, looks like a boxcar and a caboose. And mainly the locomotives can be anything from Alcos to Jeeps to some GEs. So it just depends what I like to run. And back there featured that Lionel box will be a industry of some sorts. And on the right side will be another industry or maybe two both tracks will have a will be one industry, but two different places to spot cars. And we'll come along this way. The branch line does have a runaround that comes up this way here. And you can see I have all the feeder wires. Now starting the feeder wire work. Um, continue this way here where the branch line and the uh, runarounds over here. And over here we do have another industry. And that's either going to be sand or grain. I'm not sure what I want to do just yet. There's a lot of different silos that I have pictures of. And I want to see which one I want to work on to represent something where this is in the real country and I want to have either grain or sand and then over here come along this way here the runaround and it's right over here back onto the branch line which hugs right back and that is basically a end point of the short line railroad or maybe it continues on to another town what these four box cars are that will be a warehouse that features box cars as the main rolling stock for that particular industry 
and then over here we do have where the Conroe locomotive is there'll be two tracks for a engine facility of some, of some sorts and could probably fit um, about two to three maybe four locomotives but I do like having a caboose as a shoving platform or actually have it on the end of a train so that will add some more value to the operations and so maybe I'll have a caboose um, maybe a look uh, caboose track team slash team track and also one track for just two locomotives and then come around down this way in the foreground there's a track that goes this way here and here will be a transload of some kind I would like to have tank cars there and maybe cylinder hoppers maybe oh maybe have a team track or a transload facility where I'll have a um, a uh, we call it either a, a dock or a, a platform of some sorts and maybe it will be for a lumber car or something but either way there'll be another thing for the operator to switch and that is the track plan in the tour and just staying some of the uh, two by fours here and you guys you're getting way spoiler alert when it comes to this uh, because I do have a bunch of videos on the roadbed um, and also on making these platforms I'm sorry not platforms these backdrops here and so well and staining <laughs> this and I do have a couple of railroad artifacts I got here a certificate of excellence from the Arkansas Missouri Railroad which is really really nice of them and I do have an original um, stock bond from the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad from the 1800s. So that's up there as well. And that may interchange them with different kind of memorabilia and, and plaques and stuff like that. Now above me will be another layout. And here's the some track sitting here for now. And there will be another switching layout up this way. Completely different from the bottom. I want more of the rural country on the bottom. Or mountain country. This is going to be more industrial, maybe feature, uh, let's see, maybe Queens, New York, Philadelphia, Chicago. Um, I'm, I don't have a lot of structures, and I'm not much of a structure builder, but I plan on being one, and I like the scratch. I would like to learn how to scratch build more and more. And so, with this layout, it will be a nice industrial layout. And it will, this is a five, five foot long piece, and will continue all the way to that. Back, uh, L shelf bracket right there and it'll be a foot switching layout from above so we have totally two different layouts both switching layouts and I can feature these layouts for videos and clinics as well as some live operating videos for all you guys out there I hope you enjoyed that tour and just a few facts of the layout um, it is again 8 by 8 by 8 it's 2 feet off the wall behind me on each side it's a I believe this side is about a foot off the wall and on this side here is about 15 inches the road bed is cork road bed the track is Atlas code 83 with number 6 switches and I also am using DCC with the NCE command system. And so with that, I am going to have tons of fun showing operating videos. We'll do some live layout building, live scenery builds for YouTube, and live operations, and hopefully some clinics along the way showing the operations of the layout. And we'll have some rail fanning videos, and I'll show off a lot of my collection finally. A lot of folks don't know my collection because I really haven't ran that much of my equipment and so it will be really fun to show off the equipment that I have and of course my clients trains and whenever time I finish a project I can put it on the layout take some beautiful pictures of the uh, of the models that I completed for them and so it's gonna be so much fun and I and I can't wait I have actually behind me there's about two three videos that are completed already that are already uploaded on YouTube being scheduled after this video so I, I've been very very hard at work getting this layout up and running plus 
coming up in the spring. We're going to be very busy with the homestead, with the animals, as well as all the gardening and harvesting. And so I really want to get the wiring completed and the trains running before we get busy with the homestead. And so I am almost done with a video showing the wiring on how to wire the crossovers. Because that was interesting, a <laughs> very interesting uh, experience. I never wired crossovers before. And it took me a while to find some videos or even a diagram on how to do it. And so I'm going to have a video myself and show everybody and share with everybody how to wire up the crossovers. And so it's going to be fun. I, I am like really excited about this, as you can tell. So guys, I hope you, and, um, you let's say, try to find the right word. Um, I hope you come along with me on this journey with this layout and look forward to more videos very, very soon. This is Joey G with Touch of the Brush, Model Weathering. Happy railroading, guys.